So we've all heard about the new e-commerce plugin for WordPress called Fluent Card. I've actually just searched in the repo and on page two, I can actually see they just added, yes, Fluent Card. So already got eight <laughs> five star reviews and 400 active installed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install it on a test website and see how it is. I haven't read any docs. I haven't basically uh, seen any screenshot and I want to go from install to placing a test order. Okay, so I'm going to go on to my test website. This is already a WooCommerce test website. So I also want to see what happens once I install Fluent Car. So I'm going to click on add plugin. I'm going to search for Fluent. Let's see where the Fluent Card ranks. So I'm on page one at the moment. And they have so many Fluent plugins that it's actually difficult to find the uh, Fluent Card. Oh, there it is. So, okay, that's weird because the repo was saying 400 active installs. Well, here it's saying 100 active installs and four stars. So I guess it's probably cached. Yeah, last updated 18 hours ago. So maybe that's why it's different. Okay, let's install it. I've clicked on the button and it's gonna take few seconds and now I can activate. Let's see if it says anything about WooCommerce being installed on this website. Uh, no. Okay. So let's search for Fluent. And there is no settings link here. Uh, version is 1.2.1 as of October the 16th. Description I mean, it's quite poor, it doesn't say much. I can view the details and find out about the description, the installation tips, and FAQs and so on. All right, so it's not here, which means I expect, okay, a link here in the sidebar. It's below comments. All right, so first thing, step one of three, let's set up your online store. You've installed the plugin. Uh, let's define the store country. So let's do Italy, shop name, my cool shop. And store currency, because I'm in Italy, let's do euros. Uh, I want a shop image logo to upload in these formats, 512 pixels minimum. I don't know what this is for. For now, let's skip this and continue. Now. I want to set up my pages. I can generate all pages for my website or I can select existing pages. As you can see, there will be five new pages, the checkout page, car page, the receipt, which is the thank you page, if you're familiar with WooCommerce, the shop page, and the customer profile, which I guess it's the my account. Let's click on generate all pages. All right, so now it's created, I guess, five new WordPress pages. If I go on to pages for a sec and open in a new tab, I should see if I order by date, perfect. The receipt, the shop, the cart, the checkout, and the account page. And that's done, step two. I'm going to continue and get to the last step, which I have no idea what it is. Right, is set up your product. So do I want to start from scratch or do I want to create some men's shoes or men's wear? All right, that's not very inclusive, but that's another story. So for now, let's start from scratch and I'm going to click on it and save. My store has been successfully created. Uh, onboarding is finished and let's go. So I have my dashboard here where I can see my total products, orders, revenue, refunds, sales, growth, orders, top sold products, order heat map. And in regard to the onboarding checklist, I've done the setup. 
I need to add details to my store, my first product, and set up payment methods. All right, so I added details to my store. So store setup, I have my name. I didn't upload my logo. I don't know what that is for. Is the store mode under live or test mode? Uh, is in euros number format because I am in euros am I as well actually what if I don't want any separator for the thousands maybe I, I can't so that's a bit limited currency position do I want it before or after for Italy usually it's after payment view select how payment options are visually presented on checkout logo or radio I guess logo is fine and save page setup I think I've done it already yeah hold on page setup yeah shop page customer page car page checkup page product page control the display of relevant information show relevant in single page or relevant I guess it's the related, related products maybe zooming do I want to enable zoom let's do it variation view do we want an image with text yeah variation columns masonry one column two columns three columns product slug i guess that's for the permalinks i'm already using product for woocommerce so just not to create problems let's use p for now and save let's go to cart and check out do i want to display the car icon in the body of the website Okay, I guess it's, you know, if you want to add a cart maybe to the to the header of your theme or something like that. A user account creation, do you want to create it automatically or give a checkbox or no need to create account? Do I want to hide the coupon field on the checkout? For now, no. Uh, the receipt settings, set up your receipt minimum, receipt number next number receipt prefix so okay so this is kind of maybe for invoices check out fields basic info do i want to keep the full name that's required email address that's required do i want the company let's do it and make it a requirement or not for the billing address do i want the country yes the state maybe not the address line to where they want it city and postcode not required for example for the shipping address it would be nice to have a checkbox where you can copy what you've done with the billing so in the billing i removed state address and phone so state address and phone and the postcode i made it not required do we need to agree to the terms well it's an e-commerce website so i guess this has to be a requirement by law so save now payment settings i can enable stripe or paypal or cash upon delivery razor pay coming soon molly coming soon square authorized air wallex pay stack coming soon all right so for now uh, there is not even bank transfer which is a pity so i'm going to enable cash on delivery which would be cod for woocommerce so payment activation Customers can pay their orders by cash upon delivery. So save settings. Invoices. That like feels like invoicing is coming out of the box, though there is a note saying it will be available soon. So the invoice template is under development. All right, let's skip it. Taxes. Do I want to enable taxes? Let's do it. Prices are entered with tax. So calculate taxes based on customer billing address price suffix so yeah it'll be ink tax including tax excluding tax so in my case is x tax uvat settings so do i need to enable the uvat number all customers in the u will be able to enter a uvat number when checking out let's do it local reverse charge if enabled and the VAT number is valid, then it'll zero the tax, which makes sense. All right, very good. Save settings. Rates. <clears throat> I want to manage tax rates, tax rates for different location tax classes. So I'm going to configure countries. I want to select the countries you want to configure tax rates for. 
well, European Union, rest of the world, North America, South America, Oceania, South America, Asia, Africa, and so on. So I'm going to click on European Union, EU VAT settings. I want to collect VAT in the EU using One Stop Shop. These are all EU regulations. So let's say I want to collect a specific country rate and save. To configure countries in the European Union. All right, so I have to basically select for each country and for now let's do it in Italy and save. Three rates. Okay, so in Italy, I want to apply 22%. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove the zero tax. And then of course I need to redo the same for all countries. I can add tax overrides for shipping. In regard to email configuration, my name, email and email footer will be used to send emails from Fluent Cars. So let's do Rodolfo, let's do Rodolfo at my shop. Com. I can use the reply to and the email for made with love by Rodolfo Meloy. Okay, so this email footer will be used for all emails sent from Fluent Cards. I recommend to use a business name and address. All right, so one, two, three, Main Street, Ancona, Italy. Just made it up. Plunk car will send admin notifications to this email address. Uh, shipping, shipping zone, zone name, Italy, country, Italy, and save. Shipping method, let's do a, I don't know, flat rate, province, all provinces, method type, flat rate, free shipping, local pickup, that's exactly the same as WooCommerce for 10 euros, rate per item, per order, and save. Right, so we've got one payment method, we got shipping, features and add-ons, all we're missing is a product, I guess. So I'm gonna go to a product, add a dummy product, select a category, once again, men's shoes, create products, inserting 10 products. I can close the window, products will continue to insert. So 10% is done, which means the first product is gone and we'll be waiting until it's completed. Perfect. So I want to go and view one of them and purchase it. So let's see how it is. It's put under P here in the URLs. It's working, that's the image. Uh, these are the versions, so I guess that's these are variations, really cool. I want two quantity, I can buy now or add to cart. There is a description, related products, uh, sleek, add to cart, opens the sliding cart. I can modify, so plus three, and check out. I'm gonna go on to checkout dash two because of course there is a checkout already from WooCommerce. And in here, I can enter my name, email and company. It's already filled out because I'm logged in. Billing address, shipping options, EU VAT, cash on delivery, place order. And here I have the order summary, very Shopify alike or WooCommerce checkout block alike. So company name, whatever billing address we said main street and Kona 00100 I don't want to ship to a different address flat rate is fine I agree to the terms I can enter a tax ID and place the order very fast and that's the receipt I guess you can customize the title payment pending because it's cash and delivery very cool hello your order is payment due, you can pay from here, but there's cash and delivery, so I guess you will be paying offline whenever you receive the package. You can view the order and you can use the downloads and the profiles and the dashboards. So 
pretty much that's fluent card. I'm pretty impressed by the fact that it's easy enough regarding the dashboard, regarding the speed. There are some obvious things that are missing, some things that needs to be refined, some things that needs to be added. So overall, I think this is a nice experience. I, of course, didn't see much of you know all the other pages and settings and coupons and logs and categories and brands and so on let's remember this is the free version of course there is then the, the pro version which is the one that has been launched in the last few days so overall i think this is a good product and once again if you read my tweets of the last few days i think this is a good thing for the wordpress ecosystem i don't think WooCommerce, Fluent Cars, SugarCard, R-Commerce, PM Pro, and all the you know e-commerce plugins are competing against each other. I think the more we have, the better. Because our real competitor is not a WordPress plugin. It's not a WordPress plugin against a WordPress plugin. Our real competitor is Shopify. So. The more great plugins we have within the WordPress repo, the more people will adopt e-commerce within WordPress and won't need to go outside. So I take this as a good thing. I'm happy for Fluent. I'm happy for WooCommerce as well, because each product suits to different merchants and it can only get better, right? It's great for WooCommerce knows where to improve. It's great for Fluent Car, knows where to improve. And it's super great for WordPress because we know that the e-commerce side of WordPress is getting stronger.